How's it going guys? Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today's video we're going to talk about a new script that I created called the Dojo Array Connector script. Now, I was working on a project that required me to kind of connect things together. It was a very simple project so I didn't really need the full on Plexus to do this. So I kind of rigged up my own little rig inside After Effects to do this. I found it to be very, very tedious. So I wrote a little script that allows me to do this very quickly, very easily with my selected layers here. So. Here's the script. It's a very simple script. I have these little squares just animating around here. These are just shape layers that are squares and they're animated via a wiggle expression in the position. And basically this script will connect all these squares together via lines based on their position data here. So for example, if I select all my layers that I want to connect and hit build connection, it's going to connect all these squares together. And as you can see, things work flawlessly. And the cool thing about the script is that it uses After Effects and native tools and it creates things on separate layers. So for example, if I want to apply a glow just to the points, I can easily do that because we have our own layer for points. If you wanted to adjust the lines individually, we have the lines layer on by itself. So you can, you know, play around with the blending modes, play around with effects. You can add things to this particular lines only and not the point, etc. So for example, I want to turn off the points in this case. I'll just shut off the visibility for that layer. And as you can see, the points are gone and then I'll just place the lines layer underneath all of our squares. So we have something like this and as you can see, all the squares are connected together. The lines are in sync and everything looks great. And of course we can always control these individual guys individually on their own layers. We also have a controls layer, which is very interesting here. We have a pseudo effect and uh, we can change the point size, which you can't see at the moment. We can play around with the line thickness to so maybe like 2.5. A little bit thinner. We can go to the point option to control the color, the size variation, the point opacity, and the alliance option. We have a few interesting parameters here. We have the length of the lines here, so we can go and decrease that. You can see what it kind of does here. Set it back to 100. We also have the line balance, which will kind of offset the lines. You can create some pretty interesting uh, animations that way here. We also have a very cool, interesting uh, uh, thickness variation here which will kind of create this kind of cartoon look. And then of course we have the opacity here. So, you know, this is a pretty basic script. I kind of just uh, scripted it pretty fast for my needs. Um, so this is a name your own price script on the Creative Dojo. So essentially free if you want it to be, just enter zero dollars in the price field to get it for free. Uh, in the future versions of Dojo Array Connector, it's, it will probably be a paid script, but for now, since it's pretty basic with limited controls, it will be a free script for now. But in the future versions, with more options and parameters and uh, features and like stuff like that, it will probably be a paid script here. So check it out. Let me just go ahead and reset the thickness variation down to zero again. So we have something like this. And the cool part is that it works in 3D space as well. So for example, right now these are just 2D squares. If I make these 3D layers, and show the position, you can see that these squares are moving in 3D space as the Z position is pretty much randomized and it's moving around like that. And if I go ahead and create a new camera, we can actually, you know, orbit around this thing just like any other 3D object here. So as you can see, we can rotate, it's fully 3D. It works with 3D layers, it works with null objects, it works, it works with lights. Anything that has position data, it will work with and connect. So you can track these nulls uh, you know, onto moving objects, your shots, composite things into, you know, cars and stuff like that. So it's a very interesting thing to do. Uh, you know, it works fully with 3D layers and anything that has positional data with it. And lastly, if you want to create something very quickly, let me just go ahead and delete all this stuff here. Uh, we have an option to create, uh, you know, temporary null objects here. So for example, I'll create 10 nulls, hit create null, and it's going to create 10 random nulls in different positions in space here. And uh, you can select them and hit build connection. And you'll build a quick connection. You can move these nulls around and do whatever you want with it. Track it into your shots, track it to moving footage, and you have a fully reactive quick rig. So this is just a quick way to just kind of get up and running with something here. If you have no uh, layers to work with at the beginning here. So, you know, this is not as complex as Plexus. You know, there are some solutions that do a lot more. But this is just my quick solution on, you know, these connected lines here. It's a pretty cool effect and it's pretty handy if you need to just kind of connect things together very quickly and simply uh, using the Dojo or Reconnector script. So check it out over at creativedojo.net. My name is Vincent Nguyen. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.